Welcome to Overcoming Obstacles Through Positive Thinking by Teresa Hill Putnam. Empower yourself and empower others. Empowerment is a practice of taking control over your life. Empowered people are confident in making their own decisions. They create boundaries and adapt to the changes in life. Empowered people strive to live up to their true potential. They look for the beauty in life and are grateful for the blessings they are given. Empowered people work to help others and strive to make the world a better place. I have a belief that we can improve the world through acts of love, compassion, kindness, and creativity. This is why I became an empowerment coach. I work with women, children, parents, and chronically ill patients. I also use my performing arts experience to coach singers, actors, dancers, and performers on how to follow their dreams. My clients become high-performance, purpose-driven people. They are successful because they learn the skills necessary to overcome their obstacles, develop their talents, and perform to the best of their abilities. I coach my clients on how to live their lives with purpose and create the lives they want to live. We all need to take action to create a better tomorrow. Parents are the heart of our society. They bring in life, nurture life, and raise the next generation. The children of today are our leaders of tomorrow. Even if you're not a parent, we can all make an active effort to support parents and their children. What children believe is what they will become. The way you speak to them is the way that they will speak to themselves. If you had a difficult childhood, you need to work on healing the little child inside of you. Break the pattern and change the narrative. Children believe what they are told. Tell children that they are amazing. Tell them that they are smart, funny, and a joy to be around. Tell them how much you love them and how blessed you are to have them in your life. Teach children to be bold and confident. Teach them to be silly and to have fun. Let them know that their thoughts and feelings matter. When we speak to children about their feelings, they are able to develop emotional intelligence. They learn how to understand their own emotions and other people's feelings more fully. Teach children to be strong and independent. Let them know that they are loved unconditionally and that they do not need to earn your approval. Teach them to be brave and honest. Most importantly, teach them to be authentically themselves. In order to be of service to others, we need to make ourselves whole. Take control of your life and learn to love yourself. Stay away from negativity. Surround yourself with people who love, appreciate, and support you. Walk away from those who create drama in your life and do not grovel to get someone's love or approval. You are worth more than that. Just walk away. Distance is the best answer to disrespect. Be strong. There is no need to react, argue, or dive into drama with anyone who is disrespectful or unloving toward you. Simply remove yourself from the situation. If people think you are wrong for standing up for yourself, that is their problem, not yours. Empowerment lies in being able to set proper boundaries. Stop worrying about what others think of you. A different version of you exists in the mind of every single person who knows you. Some people will like you, others will not. To some people, no matter what you do, it will never be enough. What they think of you does not really matter. Just be yourself and know your value. Wear your crown and be true to yourself. We all need people in our lives who delight in our existence and love us unconditionally. Go out and find those people. If you can stay positive in a negative situation, you will win. Being positive does not mean that things will always turn out the way you want them to, but it is knowing that whatever happens, you will be okay. A positive attitude is essential for success. Some people could be given an entire field of roses and only see the thorns in it. Others could be given a dandelion and only see the wishes. Perception is a key component to empowerment and gratitude is the key to joy. Gratitude is like a magnet. The more grateful you are, the more you will receive to be grateful for. Try to find the beauty in everything around you. Every morning when I wake up, I write down five things that I have to be grateful for. This is a wonderful and positive way to start my day. Having a grateful heart empowers me. Take time to really get to know yourself. This may seem silly, 
but so many people only know themselves by what others expect them to be. Who are you really? What do you like? What are you passionate about? What are you good at? Do you know what your purpose in life truly is? No matter what your circumstances are, if you have a dream in your heart, you can go chase it. When you start doing what you truly want to do, you start living a different kind of life. Be brave enough to create the life you want to live. Miracles start to happen when you give as much energy to your dreams as you do to your fears. Persistence and determination will create success. Live with intention and purpose. By doing this, you will be empowered. When you are empowered, you will want to empower others. Make your ripples of love touch the lives of everyone you meet. This is the best way to impact the world and make it a better place. As Jane Goodall once said, you cannot get through a single day without having an impact on the world around you. What you do makes a difference, and you have to decide what kind of difference you want to make. As an empowerment coach, I offer private and group coaching. I also love to speak at events. For more information, please visit my website at www.spotlightperformers.com. Thank you for listening to Overcoming Obstacles Through Positive Thinking. Please like and subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Be fearless.